This is Lesson 4, Part 2. What does the term RIT, R-I-T, mean? Answer B, Receiver Incremental Tuning. What is the advantage of having multiple receiver bandwidth choices on a multimode transceiver? Answer B, permits noise or interference reduction by selecting a bandwidth matching the mode. Which of the following is an appropriate receiver filter to select in order to minimize noise and interference for single sideband reception? Answer C, 2400 Hz. Which of the following is an appropriate receive filter to select in order to minimize noise and interference for CW reception? Answer A, 500 Hertz. What device increases the low power output from a handheld transceiver? Answer B, an RF power amplifier. What can you do if you are told your FM handheld or mobile transceiver is over deviating? Answer D, talk further away from the microphone. What is the primary purpose of a dummy load? A, to prevent the radiation of signals when making tests. Which of the following can be used to transmit CW in the amateur bands? Answer D. All these choices are correct. Data modes involve connecting computers via ham radio. This can even involve accessing the internet via radio using specialized modems or software and sound cards. These specialized modems are called Terminal Node Controllers, TNCs, or Multiple Protocol Controllers, MPCs. Popular data modes include RTTY radio teletype, PSK31, packet radio, the automatic packet reporting system, APRS, and WinLink. Here is an example of an APRS screen on the internet showing where APRS equipped hams happen to be at the moment. Here is a diagram of a data setup. Notice the TNC interconnected between the computer and the radio. Which of the following would be connected between a transceiver and the computer in a packet radio station? The answer is C, a terminal node controller. How is a computer sound card used when conducting digital communications using a computer? Answer C, the sound card provides audio to the microphone input and converts received audio to digital form. What does the acronym BER mean when applied to digital communication systems? C. Bit Error Rate What name is given to an amateur radio station that is used to connect other amateur stations to the Internet? A. A Gateway which of the following is an example of a digital communications method? D. All of these choices are correct. What does the term APRS mean? Answer A. Automatic Position Reporting System. Which of the following is normally used when sending automatic location reports via amateur radio? D. 
a global positioning system receiver. What does the abbreviation PSK mean? Phase shift keying, answer B. What is PSK 31? Answer D, a low rate data transmission mode. Which of the following may be included in packet transmissions? Answer D, all of these choices are correct. What code is used when sending CW in the amateur bands? C. International Morse Code What is a parity bit? Answer C. An extra code element used to detect errors in received data. We now deal with power supplies, batteries, and RF interference. Most modern radio equipment runs on 12 volts DC, but household current is 120 volts AC. Power supplies convert 120 volts AC to 12 volts DC. 13.8 volts DC is the common voltage you will see which is the charging voltage for motorized vehicles. You will likely encounter two types of power supplies, linear and switching. Linear power supplies contain transformers and are heavy. Switching power supplies use electronics instead of transformers and are lighter weight and smaller. But some switching power supplies generate RF noise. Power supply ratings include the following. Continuous duty, that is, how much current can be supplied long term. Intermittent duty, how much surge current can be supplied short term. Regulation, how well the power supply can handle rapid current changes. Car batteries hold lots of energy and require special precautions. Shorting out a car battery could cause a fire. It is important to fuse both the positive and negative leads and to connect the radio's negative lead to where the battery ground connection is made. There are disposable, rechargeable, and storage batteries. Their power handling capability is rated in ampere hours. Amp hours equals amps, the number of amps, times the time in hours. Some batteries can be recharged, others cannot. It is important to use the proper charger on the battery being charged. Batteries will wear out over time. It is best if batteries are maintained fully charged. Overcharging will cause heating and could damage the battery. Some batteries, such as lead acid batteries, will release toxic fumes during charging and require ventilation. Battery packs are packages of several individual rechargeable batteries connected together, such as nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, or lithium ion. For emergencies, use a battery pack that can use disposable batteries such as the AA size. Which is a good reason to use a regulated power supply for communications equipment? The answer is A. It prevents voltage fluctuations from reaching sensitive circuits. What is the source of a high-pitched whine that varies with engine speed in a mobile transceiver's receive audio? The answer is B, the alternator. Where should a mobile transceiver's negative power connection be made? A, at the battery or engine block ground strap. How much voltage does a mobile transceiver usually require? A. 
about 12 volts.